We have new details on a car chase involving a baby that started in Rockwall County. Chopper 11 was over the chase that made its way into Dallas yesterday afternoon, and we saw a man get out of a dark colored Dodge Charger with a baby strapped in a car seat. He put the baby in the passenger side of the white SUV before that vehicle pulled off. The chase continued to a community center on Goldman Street where the man got out with the baby. Police tell us they arrested two men and were told that the baby is safe with its grandfather. Now to a health alert for the first time in six years, the CDC is sharing new guidelines for doctors who prescribe opioids that there are 12 new recommendations for doctors. Here's what they include not abruptly discontinuing opioid prescriptions, considering other therapies for common types of acute pain instead of opioids, choose to prescribe immediate release medicines instead of long acting ones and review patients history of controlled substances when prescribing opioids. Well, a surge in RSV cases among children has a North Texas hospital taking emergency steps. Cook Children's has activated their internal disaster code. So basically they're bringing in more staff to help with the RSV flu and other resp respiratory illnesses in both boys and girls. Now doctors say they will help those with more severe symptoms first, but listen to these numbers on Wednesday alone. Cook Children says its urgent care saw over 700 patients. 620 children have been to their emergency rooms in the last 24 hours and hospital beds. Those are also filling up the DFW Hospital Council, which covers most of the counties in DFW area. It tells us that 95% of pediatric beds in the service area highlighted that you see on the map are occupied. One Vision One Dallas will hold a community fair this weekend. It starts today at Brother Bill's Helping Hand. That's at 3906 Northwest Moreland Road. Along with free vision screenings and glasses for the kids and adults, there's going to be food, music, and games for the whole family. Hours are from 1 to 5, and if today does not work out for you or your family, head over to Bridge Builders on Bexer Street in South Dallas tomorrow and Sunday. Those hours are on your screen right there. There are no requirements to qualify for services that fair is sponsored in part by Goldman Sachs. If you or someone you know is looking for a job, UPS is hiring for the holiday rush. UPS plans to hire more than 3,800 seasonal employees here in North Texas. It is holding two hiring events in Dallas today and tomorrow. Those hiring fairs will be held at the UPS customer centers at 10155 Monroe Drive and 1683 West 19th Street in Dallas. They're looking for delivery drivers and CDL drivers, warehouse workers, and driver helpers. Uh, UPS says new hires may be able to turn the temporary jobs into a career. If you can't make it out to one of those events, you can also apply online.